Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, supporting, and also donating to the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to follow me on social media, you can. You can follow me on Instagram at Pink Aura Tarot. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is just email me. All personal readings are $40. All of my info is listed down in the description box below. So this is going to be a what's going on for Gemini. Um, <clears throat> let's see what's going on with Gemini. I'm using the Unicorn Oracle deck. So what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Whoa. So we got leadership that popped out. So y'all cards came out kind of crazy. But we have um, awareness right here at the bottom of the deck. So we got leadership. It's a lot of green going on too. We got um, leadership. It says step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. So, um, and then we got awareness too. So it says live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. So for some of you guys, somebody, you could be looking up to somebody as a leader or it's like somebody could be like um, watching you. So you could have like a YouTube or something, or this could be like on your social media platforms. It's like people look up to you. So it's almost like you have to be like, be aware of your thoughts or the message that you're sending out to people. So let me pull, I'm going to pull an energy oracle card, clarify leadership. see what this is angel of strength see i feel like somebody has the power here like you could not really see your true power here it's like you're a leader so step into le your leadership here because it could be people that's looking up to you and you're like just unaware of it gemini because it says share your message inspire and empower others so you could be out here inspiring and empowering other people and you could be just like unaware of it and it's like if you were to fall like in a negative space it's almost like the fact that you have people like looking up to you as a leader that would be almost like kind of disappointing so it's like be more aware of this could be something that you're posting on social media how you talk to other people how you interact with other people So let's see. Clarify leadership for Gemini. So we got this ten of pentacles that came out. So you could be, I feel like somebody's um head of the household. Like people will look up to you here. So you could be um supporting other people like financially here. Clarify leadership. So we got the four of swords here. For some, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be wanting to, um, I feel like somebody's tired of like always being a leader here. Clarify leadership. I feel like for some of you, you could be wanting to take a break here from some type of leadership position. Clarify leadership. So we got this star card that came in. See, for some of y'all, I feel like, um, see, this 
see people look for you look to look up to you here it's like you're coming up as the star here like as a leader with the star card but i feel like for some of y'all you need to like appreciate um where you're at here it's like it's meant for you to take this um this leadership or be in leadership of some sort clarify leadership okay we got the seven of pentacles that came out see for some of y'all you could be like just tired here of like having to um be the leader of some sort here so this could be um with your work too like you could be the lead of something we got the three of pentacles right here like people look up to you for like hope and guidance or like you help I feel like somebody could help people because so you could be like a teacher too. Clarify leadership. Okay. That was one too many cards. Clarify leadership for Gemini. Okay, we got the seven of swords that came out. I feel like for some of y'all, you could be like in this leadership position. You could be like unaware of it. So I feel like this is telling you to, um, because we got the seven of swords. I feel like somebody's like lying to themselves here about um, being a leader. It's like maybe you don't think that you inspire or empower other people, but you do. Clarify leadership. Give me one more. So we got the four of wands that came in. For some of y'all, you could be like, um, I feel like because the, the four of wands, it could be like a house. Somebody could be like the head of the household. Maybe you feel like you got I, um, too much responsibilities or um like you're really not seeing anything come from it what's this for a source okay we got the moon card here i feel like somebody could be worried here about um some type of leadership position <clears throat> somebody could be done with the aquarius too what's the star okay so we got um <clears throat> the eight of pentacles here i feel like somebody's thinking about leaving um now this could be a marriage too with the ten of pentacles because the Ten of Pentacles is like a body of people. You could be um, thinking about leaving a family situation or a marriage or some type of, like something that you're committed to. That's what I'm seeing right here too. Because there could have been some type of deception too with this Seven of Swords with a, in, in a commitment. What's the Seven of Pentacles? And I feel like if you were in, in a commitment here too, it's like you could have been committed to this person. Like you could have been living with this person too with this four of wands. So it, it's like, I guess that would be some form of commitment. Like you guys living together. I don't know. But it's like somebody wasn't like fully committed. Because I feel like somebody was always taking the lead. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. So we got the Four of, I mean, the, um, the Eight of Wands here. See, I feel like somebody is about to um, leave a situation here. Like somebody wants to move towards something else because in a direction it's going, it's like this way. So this is like my right. It's like somebody's leaving something behind.
What's the seven of swords? So we got the nine of wands. There was some type of deception here with some type of commitment or somebody that somebody was living with. Like somebody could have been like head of the household too or like paying, they could have been um, paying all the expenses too. But it's like somebody wasn't fully committed and I feel like somebody's leaving that. We got the three of swords. So there was like some type of disappointment here with like a commitment or a marriage or a living situation here. And I feel like somebody needs to like stand in their power here um get into a leadership position here because it's like people look up to you like you inspire other people and you empower other people or whatever the situation is that you're going through it's like you're going to be able to inspire other people what's this four of wands Yeah, somebody is leaving. We got the Nine of Wands. Somebody's leaving a commitment here or a uh, marriage or a living situation. And they're about to like <clears throat> start building somewhere else with this Page of Pentacles. Like they're starting something new. Let's see. Um, I'm going to pull more energy oracle cards. Give me one more for Gemini. It's like the fact that somebody's leaving some like this deception or, you know, somebody lying to them could be cheating. Could It could have been a you could have been in a third party situation. It's like by you walking away will inspire and empower other people. So if this is like for a woman, it's like the fact that you did it is so empowering. And it's like you'll be able to share your message or your um your experience with other people. Cause you could be on some type of platform too. And it's like, by you doing that, it's like very empowering and inspiring to other people. Give me one more for Gemini. Yeah, we got cornucopia that came out. Cornucopia. I feel like this um, whole situation is like a blessing to somebody here. Give me one more for Gemini. Let's see what this is. Wow, we got attachment. There's something that somebody's emotionally attached to that they're needing to let go or walk away from. And it's like, by you doing that, it's like you need to be a leader or like you could be already be a leader and you could be unaware of this because you have other people watching you, like looking up to you. By you walking away or like detaching will like inspire and empower other people here. Give me one more for Gemini. Wow, that was too many. Give me one more for Gemini. Well, we got anxiety that popped out. Sorry, I can't reach a card. We got anxiety. So somebody could be experiencing anxiety here about, um, like somebody's worried here about um, either a marriage or a commitment, somebody that you're committed to. And then we got deceit. So there is, you could be in a situation where there's like manipulation here, like in a partnership where somebody has hidden tactics because we got the moon card, the seven of swords. Give me one more for Gemini, please. Okay, we got victory. We got victory. See, somebody is getting a victory here. Um, but I didn't walk in a way. It's like so empowering. I don't know why I keep saying that. But we got strategy. So it's like maybe somebody needs to make a plan here or come up with some type of strategy here about leaving. Um, I feel like it's a marriage for somebody. Or like somebody that you're committed to. And yeah, you could be making a plan too to like detach yourself from a person here that you're committed to. 
Because there definitely is some deception here going on. That somebody was like committed to. So I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with somebody. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.